Okay, so you want to make your own pan and zoom or zoom and pan slideshow. It's pretty easy. First of all, I've already drug over three pictures uh, for the pan and slideshow, so I'm just going to bring them all down to the timeline. I'm going to separate them just a little bit. And by default, every picture or each picture is at four seconds long. But what works well is if you drag each picture out to, oh, about seven or eight seconds. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. And let's start with the first picture. Go to the beginning of the clip and you can just see you hit play and it's just my son shooting some baskets. But let's do a little zoom and pan action. We're going to go to filters. We're going to hit that plus sign and we're going to go to rotate and scale. So what I want to do is here on the picture, maybe I want to start around here and then I want to zoom to this area. So let's go ahead and zoom just a little bit, maybe to about a hundred and, let's do 120%. All right, and then let's use the X and Y offset. Again, I want to start in this bottom left-hand corner and kind of zoom that way, zoom diagonally. So I'm going to zoom a little bit more just to get this black bar off the top. Keep going there. Okay, we've done that. And now I'm going to click on the keyframes. Okay, my next step is to get to the end of this clip and I'm going to hit Alt, right arrow. I'm going to back it up one to get to the end of this photo. And now, I want to kind of zoom into this area here towards the end of the clip. So again, I'm going to use my slider to kind of center it right about there. And I want to zoom there, but I need a bigger zoom to get rid of that the black bar on top. So right about there. So I'm going to be zooming to 300% basically. So let's see what that looks like. And let's play it. All right, there you go. Not a bad zoom. All right, let's go to the second clip. There's my son. He's dribbling the basketball. I want to start totally zoomed in so you don't know what the picture is about, and then we'll zoom out. So let's go to 300% on the initial zoom. And let's get my son out of the frame. Like that, and let's go up towards the window. There, we can see the basketball reflection in the, the hoop reflection in the window. And we'll hit the keyframes. Now let's go to the end of the clip. Alt, right arrow. We're gonna back it up one so we can see the clip. And now we're just going to zoom out to a hundred percent scale. So we don't want those black bars. So we're just going to reset everything to zero like that. And let's play it. And now we've zooming out instead of zooming in. So not bad there. Let's go to the third and final clip. Make sure it's highlighted. Alt, left arrow to get the beginning of the frame. Plus sign on the filters. Rotate and scale. Let's start over here and then zoom to the, the top left. So let's get our first zoom in on the kid. Maybe about like that. Let's center him a little bit. Perfect there. Now hit the keyframe. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the end of the clip. Alt, right arrow. 
and we want to zoom in. Let's see here. I'm going to reset these values. I'm going to zoom in to 200%. We'll drag the hoop into the middle. I want to get that black bar out of there. Here, there we go, right there. So now, if we play that clip, we've got a nice zoom in. All right, so we've done all those three pictures. I'm gonna group them together. Go to the beginning, I'm gonna hit home. And there you go. You have your own pan and zoom or zoom in pan slideshow that you've created all yourself. Actually, I'm going to hit the render button and we'll see what the final product looks like. And there you go. If you found this content at all useful, make sure to give it a like and please consider subscribing. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Hey folks, thanks for watching. See you next time.